Hi, my people. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a new episode of Lamar Townsend Tarot and Child. Welcome to the Eclipse Season Special. Yes. Cue clapping sounds. I don't have any clapping sounds. Um, I actually need to get one of those like things where you can press a button and it makes a sound. Welcome to the Eclipse uh, special, the Great North American Eclipse. I'm Lamar Townsend. I am, if you're new to my channel, a psychic, a tarot reader, an astrologer, and a medium. I hope you all are doing well, thriving, being healthy, happy. Uh, I have got, I'm embracing my curls today. My very fluffy, very fl floofy curls. One thing I love about this hairstyle is it is perfect for summer in the sense that I don't know about you guys. I'm straight natural, as you guys know. No perm here or anything like that. Um, so when my hair gets wet or my scalp sweats, which it does during the summer, my hair poops up into a ball and it gets frizzy. Now, the good thing about curls is that, you know, when it starts to get frizzy, it kind of goes with the style. Now, too much frizziness, you got to tame her. You know, you got to, you know, pull, pull back, the, you know, go back in the kitchen, get her together. All right, you know pull out the tools and do what you need to do right um but i have just been embracing the curls it's it's kind of like you know hot here it's been raining and i've just not been wanting to like deal with straight hair lately um even though my hair is blown out you know so i'm just embracing my curls my wild child hair you guys love when i have my hair like my wild child hair um but i decided to be a little bit classy and not actually give bed head you know usually when i do the when i have the wild hair it's literally bed head but i was like let's do a classy bed head look and see how that goes so this is my classy bed head summer look so don't be surprised if you see this hair a lot during the summer we're trying to grow her out and still look classy and cute but not give straight all the time because straight in summer does and natural hair does not always go well together so with that being said welcome to Oh my gosh, my April 8th um, Eclipse special. First of all, I feel like I should put my glasses on so I can make sure. Oh my God, I just realized there's a typo in the headline. Um, which means that there's a typo now in the thumbnail. And I'm wondering, should I do this video all, o all over again? or or not the video should i take the thumbnail over again because that was a pretty good thumbnail i had right there let me see so i just went ahead and said screw it and made a whole brand new um thumbnail so the thumbnail you guys are seeing for this video is actually the second thumbnail i just took also please excuse the line right here i just unwrapped my hair my hair has been wrapped pretty much all day all day except i just took it out for this video now, let's talk about the Great North American Eclipse. Everyone is talking about, child. Everyone has been talking to me about it. It's the hot topic for sure lately is this uh, eclipse that we have coming up on April 8th, which is tomorrow in a few hours, actually. Um, the Great North American Solar Total, Total Solar Eclipse. Now, I don't know about you all, but I am very excited for this eclipse. We've got a lot of energy going on, a lot of new beginnings that could sprout up, a lot of energy to work with in terms of candle magic. You guys know we love talking about magic and manifesting on this channel. So it's a really powerful, potent energy. This great, um, a great American, uh, North American total eclipse that we have going on on April 8th. Um, now let's go ahead and talk about you know in layman's terms what exactly is this event i do have some notes i kind of want to read and then we'll get into the astrology of what is what's all going down with this so all right i got my notes here it says the solar eclipse is on april 8th 2024 the best place uh for you to be to see actually see the total eclipse, total solar eclipse will be vermont actually so if you you're in vermont um then definitely uh, make sure that you are taking advantage of your location during this eclipse also apparently mexico's pacific coast is also might be a good location as well the time of the eclipse starts at 1 27 p.m i actually need to change that in my astrology notes because i thought it was 1 47 p.m i'll change that right now 
So yeah, the time of the eclipse is at 1.27 p.m. Uh, Central Time. Um, so kind of calculate what that means for your time, your exact time location. The length of the eclipse is four minutes and 28 seconds. So it's not a, it's not going to, you know, be a, um, a long event necessarily. Uh, it starts around once again, 146 PM, 126 PM. Um, and it ends around 417 PM, I guess is what Fox studio is saying. Um, but once again, this is just google notes so i'm just reading whatever google is reporting right now so there's a little bit of conflicting information there but once again let's read what this means a total solar eclipse will take place on monday april 8th 2024 visible across north america and dubbed the great north american eclipse by some media a solar eclipse occurs when the sun when the moon passes between earth and the sun thereby obscuring the image of the sun for a viewer on earth so when it, when this eclipse is happening basically um once again the moon is passing between us and you know the sun the space and in the space in space between us and, and the sun the moon passes into the in that space and basically blocks our view of the sun for once again um a few minutes uh according to once again the um google right so once again it's not like a super long event but it is an event that is worthy of um once again recognition especially astrologically right but practically it's not a super long event um so let's talk about first of all we've got earth we've got the sun which in astrology the sun rules our purpose in life our creativity our sense of self-expression the sun rules our approach to romance and romantic relationships the sun rules our energy and our zest for life um our sense of self-expression the sun is also our connection to our ego as well um it's also connected to our childhood memories i um, mean things of this nature we've got the sun once again being blocked by the moon all right, so there's something potentially being suppressed or something that could come out during this time. The moon comes into the forefront, blocking the sun. The moon in astrology is associated with our emotions, our emotional reactions, our emotional instincts, what we need in order to feel emotionally secure and safe in the world at large. The moon is also representative of our family, our home, our um, particularly our relationship with our mother. Um, so that'll be quite interesting, you know, with the moon, you know, something eclipsing, you know, something could eclipse, you know, concerning your emotions, family, home, energy, motherhood, energy. Um, when something is eclipsed out of, in terms of metaphorically speaking, an eclipse, you know, happens when once again, something is kind of eclipsed out of our life. It is, I don't know the best way to explain it. Imagine like in a movie where they have a scene where it's like the nerdy like the nerdy guy steps up and wants to speak to you know their person of attraction you know but then you know a hotter guy steps right in front of the nerdy guy and instead of the camera panning in on the nerdy guy it's now panning in on the hot guy and the hot guy now takes center stage for the rest of the movie like that's basically like a metaphor of how an eclipse happens the nerdy guy was eclipsed out of the picture right um and the hot guy took center stage so metaphorically speaking how can you use that energy in your life what needs to be eclipsed out of your life now once again in terms of what's actually being eclipsed in this scenario the sun is being eclipsed in this scenario all right the sun once again deals with ego the sun does deal with purpose creativity self-expression all right so be prepared for a lot of changes in terms of people's purposes and passions in life be prepared for changes you know in terms of romance all right as well romantic connections possibly the interesting thing with the sun is is that it's not necessarily long-term connections you know the sun is romantic flings you know for your fun in the sun your hot girl summer you know that's that energy you know but here we have the moon in the forefront the moon is emotions the moon is, is emotional connections the moon is family 
home energy. We have this energy taking center stage. This is that the moon is the hot guy. The sun is the nerdy guy in the scenario I was just talking about. Does that make a bit of sense? Now we have to factor in when the eclipse is happening, where exactly is the moon and the sun in terms of astrologically? This is where I come in. Let's get into the astrology of the Great North American Eclipse Child of April 2024. By Lamar Townsend Tarot, by the way, if you would like your own personal reading before we even get into the tea, definitely check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. I am available for personal readings and I would love to read for you. This is my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Once you've reached this website, you know you're on the right page. You can scroll down and read reviews from people who have purchased readings from me. You can follow me down here on Instagram and Facebook. Um, also, I do have um, evil eye bracelets and necklaces and things like that on sale um currently so definitely check out the store section of my website um i do offer quite a lot of different things and i did recently upgrade my prices because i've gotten so extremely busy um so i did have to upgrade my prices but i still offer the same services i offer email readings phone readings video recorded readings past life readings birth chart readings, mediumship readings, candles, classes, and so much more. Like I said, I also do offer bracelets, merch, you know, in terms of bracelets, stickers that I did design myself. Uh, I love the evil eye, as you guys know. So, I, you know, I love making evil eye merch. So, yes, my evil eye bracelets are made with real gemstones. They are handmade by me. They are, like I said, currently on sale. So go check them out. And also, I just did um, have a client and friend who got his evil eye bracelet. And I just want to show you all this video that he posted on his social media page and that I reposted on my page because I just love this video. So this is the merch I sent out to him um and uh this is the package he got so he's like unboxing his package let's watch let me refresh the page so we can watch from the beginning and then i promise we'll get into the astrology i just threw the tape around it so oh, it's so pretty i'm gonna get a little bit love it love it this is a sticker in the middle okay. i love the blue yeah it's so blue Love it. Um, really nice. Wow. It's so beautiful. Ooh, so, yes, yeah, shout out to J Manuel for allowing me to, um, upload that on my social media pages so now let's go ahead and get into what is going on with this great north american eclipse so um i do have i want to i want it to be the eighth so i do have the um date set for feb for april 8th 2024 which is the date of the eclipse uh that the eclipse happens i do have the time set for around 1 27 p.m which according to google is around the time that the eclipse happens although it did say also it happens um or there's something about 1 47 p.m so we're kind of we're gonna work with the time and see you know how how things transit um over the next several hours but it happens around 1 27 1 40 something 140 127 147 p.m depending on where you are in the world once again this is central time um so right off the bat once again as i was saying remember we've got earth um the moon in the middle between earth and the sun the sun is being eclipsed by the moon the moon is the hot guy the sun is the nerdy guy in this scenario so we've got the moon in Aries here happening on the tw uh, April 8th around the time the eclipse happens and the sun in Aries. All right. So we actually have a conjunction. We also have this energy conjunct Venus in Aries, putting more emphasis on relationships. Now, the thing with Venus is that Venus can deal with relationship with self and others. 
Also, I want to note that Venus is the total opposite of Aries, actually. So this can be a bit of a potent energy, whether it be for the good or the bad. Y'all, make sure y'all are putting your protection candles on. Y'all are putting your protection energy around you, particularly if you are in a situation where... I'm just going to put it out there. Like we're going to have to be honest here. If you're dealing with a situation where there's any kind of abuse, mentally, you know, emotionally, physically, or otherwise, all right? And that could be vice versa. You are maybe are the one being abused or maybe the one doing the abuse, allegedly, for entertainment purposes only. I say that because Aries can deal with aggression. Aries is, is ruled by Mars. So Aries is uh, associated with war, literal war, aggression, masculinity, meat. Uh, Aries is associated with how one expresses their raw energy, whether it be good or bad. Once again, Aries is also associated with leadership. It's associated with first impressions, physical appearance. All right. It's associated with also um, one self image, meaning how one sees themselves and how other people see them. This means that this could be a time of huge reality checks for people. Now, what that means, I, I don't know. You know, every situation is going to be different for everyone. And that depends on, you know, everyone's astrological makeup. But once again, the Aries, Aries energy is associated with our rising sign. So you want to look to where your rising sign is. You want to look to where your Mars is. You want to look at what you've got going on in your first house at this time. That's all Aries energy, Mars associated. Now, once again, if you want a birth chart reading, I am available for birth chart readings. Um, I do compatibility and individual birth chart readings. So definitely, you know, if you need a chart reading, reach out to me. But Aries is powerful energy. Aries is power. Aries is authority. Authority, right? So this could deal with power dynamics, shifts in power dynamics, you know, related to relationships. All right. Shifts in power dynamics in general. Authority could be a big, a big factor here. Abuse of authority can also be a factor here as well. We've also got this energy conjunct Mercury retrograde. Remember, we've currently got Mercury retrograde as well. We've got to watch what we say during this energy. People are going to be really sensitive, especially with the moon being in Aries here during the eclipse now it's interesting because you know in this case the hot guy and the nerdy guy are pretty much one and the same right it's just that we've got the moon once again here in the forefront but it's still in aries so in this case the earth is facing the moon Meaning we're facing the, you know, the entity of emotions, of family, of, of nurturing, of what you need to feel emotionally secure and safe in the world. Or do you feel safe? Do you feel secure? You may have, you know, things, you know, people, situations that challenge your safety, whether it be emotionally or physically. Once again, Aries is your physical appearance, your physicality. We've got to take the energy seriously. I don't mean to scare you, you know, but we've got to be alert. We've got to be aware. We've got to take the energy seriously. You know, energies are high at this time. Now, the good thing with Aries is that Aries is about new beginnings. So whatever seeds you plant during this time of this solar eclipse or this total solar eclipse that we're having once again on the 8th, whatever seeds you plant are, are planting, all right? It's going to be potent. It's going to be powerful. And you better be able to handle whatever it is you're manifesting. All right? And all that comes with it, by the way. Whatever it may be. No judgment here, right? Um, but I say that to say... Also... The things that you've already put the work in, in terms of manifesting, the seeds you've already planted in the past. All right. It's possible some of them may be start sprouting and with the vengeance, too. You know, I don't know if you are like our green thumb people, but um, if you've ever had an experience, you know, with plants or growing things, it's like there's 
there's always that one stubborn plant or one stubborn shrub or, you know, um, specific type of plant that, you know, someone struggles with. Like for me, you know, for the life of me, I cannot like keep an Abra, Abra Camino plant alive in my apartment. And it's probably just because it's just not the right, like, you know, soil and it probably needs to be outside. And, you know, um, I can't keep an aloe plant alive for the, you know, basically the only plant I can keep alive in this home is a windowsill plant, child. But this is the energy where... You know, I could pick up an aloe plant, you know, at the Home Depot tomorrow and somehow, some way that that thing will last me a, a possible, quite possibly a lifetime. Right. I mean, the energy is that potent where, you know, uh, any any stubborn seeds you planted, you know, in the past in your life, uh, whether it be work related, love related, relationship related, self-improvement related, that has just like you've been stubbornly dealing with losing weight manifesting love right don't be surprised if you see big shifts happen especially if you've been putting in the work to make these shifts happen all right we're talking about portal energy right we're talking about the god eris powerful energy Aries is trailblazer energy. Aries is the first zodiac sign, the 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 literal beginning. It is the first house. So this is a reset. Who do you want to be moving forward? I know who I want to be, and I've set that intention. And I am so excited to see it manifest. And I claim it, and I speak it into existence. And you should too. We've got Jupiter and Taurus. Uh, conjunct Uranus and Taurus. So this is actually really good energy for money, finances, anything you want to manifest in terms of abundance and money, finances, personal belongings. If you want to manifest a new car, now it may not come right away, although it could come right away. Aries moves fast. Aries is fire. Aries is impulsive energy. Aries is like, you know, a, a, a thrill, you know, a thrill and joy seeking. Like it, it moves fast, Aries. When they see something and when they know what they want, they, they get it quick, right? But Taurus is Earth. Taurus is a bit more patient. Taurus, you know, is more so the type of person that will look around, pick up the fruit, you know, feel it, you know, maybe, you know, sniff it. You know, I don't know. Everyone's different. Hopefully you clean your uh, fruit and vegetables before you eat them when you get home, child. But, um, you know, like Taurus is going to make sure they, they, they pick the best fruit, the best this, the best that. So shoot for the stars, manifest the best. Right. We've got also Saturn and Pisces conjunct Mars and Pisces. All right. Saturn or Pisces can deal with like smoke and mirrors. It also does deal with one's relationship to the spiritual realm. All right. So whatever you want to manifest, it's definitely going to be something where you're going to have to trust and follow spirit and your, your spiritual guidance. No matter how random or crazy it may seem. You know, I can't tell you how, like, a good example is maybe, like, a, a personal item that you want, but it's, like, so expensive. Like, I don't know, a new vacuum. But the vacuum you want is, like, you know, $400. You know, maybe you go to a Target or I don't know, I don't know, you know, whatever store, you know, every now and then just to, just to check on it, you know, just to, you know, see is, if the price goes down. Is it still there? Is everything still in stock? Is Do I just, is it just me that does things like this? Until, you know, maybe you kind of leave it alone, you know, for a while, you move on until one day you wake up and spirit is like, hey, you should go to Target and check out the vacuum section. I know you haven't been there in a while, but you should probably go check out the vacuum section. And you're kind of like, what spirit? Like the vacuum section Target? Like I got this and I got deadlines. I got, I got clients. I need to, I got emails and phone calls. Target. You know, but you, you make the time to go to Target and what do you find? The vacuum you've been looking for. Not only is there one, only one left, but it happens to be on sale somehow, some way for only one day. And it, the, the day you went to go get it is the last day it was on sale for half off $200. Which maybe is still expensive, but you know, you're saving $200 in the long run. And who knows when it'll go on sale again? 
You know, if you got the money, child, if spirits bless you with the money, take the opportunity. You've manifested this. You listen and trusted spirit. I teach this in my spiritual development class about trusting and following spirit and having faith. Pluto and Aquarius. All right. Radical change. Unexpected changes. Quick change, too. I'm telling y'all, it's going to be quick. This energy, quick. You're not going to see it coming, whatever it is, good or bad. So be careful. Do your protection energy. Now, we do have Vertex in Libra. Faded events and faded relationships. The judicial system, the legal system probably is going to get a... Uh, um, we might see an increase in legal issues in some way, shape, or form. Suing. You know, um being called people being called people being called to the carpet legally. I say that because we've got vertex and Libra. Libra does deal with the legal system, balances and checks, right? Checks and balances. We've got this in opposition to all this Aries energy. In opposition to the v Venus and Aries, which we know there's going to be some SHIT because Venus rules Libra. Here we have Libra in opposition to its home planet. Oh, it's about to be some SHIT. Uh, Libra in opposition also, in Vertex in opposition to Moon and Aries. Emotions are going to run high, I'm t I told y'all. Also in opposition to Sun and Aries. Also in opposition to Mercury retrograde in Aries. Now, the thing with this energy is that this is happening during the actual eclipse. So while this energy, you know, a lot of this energy may, like I said, it may be quick. Some of it may have a bit of a lasting effect. Keep that in mind. So vertex, for example, may change zodiac signs, you know, you know, fairly quickly. But the fact that it was in Libra at 127 at the time that the eclipse may be starting is very significant right then we've got lilith lilith and virgo huh this is the outlier here this is the wild card this lilith and virgo it's people keeping tabs people micromanaging this could be self-critic self-criticism self-judgment people taking too long you know to respond Let's see how the energy progresses. Because once again, the, the um, Google said that the actual eclipse allegedly takes place from about 1 to 4 p.m. But it's a quick event. So once again, I guess they're talking about the lingering effects or maybe the fact that it happens differently around the world. But um, we'll go from 1 to 4 p.m. All right. So, but once again, I just kind of want to get a, a, a taste of how things shift and change. See, by 1.57 p.m., 30 minutes later, Vertex is in Scorpio. All right. Actually, let's go back a little bit. I want to see what Vertex shifts into as time goes on. Let's go minute by minute a little bit. So, around... 131 it sw vertex switches to scorpio which is probably a better placement because scorpio is co-ruled by mars so it is actually ends up being conjunct um to some degree all that aries energy but even conjunctions can have a good and a bad as well just intensity heightened energy all right once again the energy will be heightened especially with that vertex and scorpio everything else is pretty much the same we've still got lilith and virgo we've still got pluto and aries mercury is still retrograde in aries the moon is still in aries everything is pretty still much the same although i believe we've got mars and pisces over here um neptune and pisces saturn and pisces All right, we can pick up the steam now.
You know, it's funny. Um, I had a friend come over maybe a couple of days ago and he had me read his chart because he was even like, and he's not an astrology person, but he was even like, everyone's talking about this eclipse. I just want to know what's coming up for me in my astrology. I know you do astrology for your job. And he was like, basically like, can you read my chart? And I was basically, and he works like with customer service. And I was basically telling him like, you know, I wouldn't want to necessarily work in customer service during this time because you could definitely be dealing with difficult customers, like moody, rude customers, you know. But once again, don't meet fire with fire and you should be okay, which is the same thing I told my friend. So, yeah, you guys, it's just intense energy, you know. Um, and then towards the end of it, we've got Vertex and Sagittarius, which is just fueling the fame of, flame of that fire. So, y'all, this eclipse is going to be intense, but it's going to be quick, fast change. And this quick, fast change could also be related to, once again, things you've already manifested in the past, right? So, this also could relate to, like, if you've, if you've been on the, if you've been on the right path you there's really probably no need for you to worry about anything there may need to be some course corrections but that's between you and your spirit guides and your angels and ancestors and they'll work with you on that you know guaranteed you know um but if you've been on the wrong path whatever that means for you once again quick fast change all right I mean, it's going to come in. It's going to be like one of those Acme. You remember like Looney Tunes back in the day? Like where like. It's almost like like fire would come in and like consume the character. And then like the fire would like leave. But the character would still be left behind looking like, you know, basically like dust. They fall into dust like that. That That's like. That could be you if you've not been on the right path. I'm not saying literally, God forbid, literally, but it is a lot of fire. So be careful with fire as well during this time. Put your candles out when you leave. That's one thing I've been doing lately is, you know, when I go out, you know, on the weekends or go out, you know, um, because I like to take myself out on, you know, dates, you know, and stuff like that um, or go on a date. But, um, yeah, you know, when I go out, I like to make sure, you know, that I put my candles out, you know, fire safety. There's also other ways that you can do it. You know, you can also put your candles in like a thing of water and that'll also, but safety is key. It's better to be safe than sorry is probably the best motto for this energy. All right. And I will leave you all with that. I've got some other clients to get to. I've got some other things I've got to do. Thank you once again for trusting me and listening to me. I hope you all take advantage of this energy. Happy eclipse season. It's not all bad. It's how you what you make of it. All right. I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you for so much for your support. Um, follow me on my TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Check out my website. And if you would like a reading, once again, uh, Check out my website, lamartownsandterra.com. Text me at 703-791-9162. I will catch you all in the next video. Bye. Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. I don't care what the others say. Let's channel some energy today Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong This tarot card reading about to be long Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong This tarot card reading about to be long
psychic with the T, the psychic with the T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. Oh, 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 oh,